Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is a little trick that I've done fairly often on stream and someone noticed and was like, what is that? What are, what are you doing there? Uh, so I'm gonna show you the same trick that I've used and explain kind of how it works. And let's jump into it. Okay, so the trick is uh, normally if you want to work on a Git repository, you have to CD into it and then run whatever Git command that you wanna run, um, which can be annoying because you have to CD around and you know, seeding around changes the state of your, your shell process, and then you might lose context on what you're working on, and I don't know, it can be annoying. Uh, but what you can do instead is you can use git dash capital C, and this has to come before the command or any of the other stuff. Uh, dash capital C allows you to specify another directory to change to. So if we wanted to want to look at this repository, for instance, and run git status, uh, you'll see that it, it changes to this directory and then runs status in there so that um, you, know, you can you can perform git operations in other repositories than the one that you're currently working on, or if you're not even in a repository at all. Um, but yeah, very simple tip. Uh, I believe there's a command or an argument similar to this in make, uh, which allows you to change into a particular make subdirectory and run commands there. Um, there's a couple other tools that support stuff similar to this, but uh, this one is for Git, and so I figured I would share that with you. Uh, if I remember correctly, this was added in Git 2, so if you're somehow stuck in like 2010 or whatever, and you have a, a really old version of Git, then this won't be available, and so you'll still have to do the CH, uh, a CD to change your directory and, and run from there. Uh, but I believe this should be available in, in basically any reasonable version of Git that you're using uh, in current year. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, wanted to show this little tip. Hopefully this is useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.